What's up, guys? Um, I'm going to take you through a warm up or, uh, that I did today before my workout. Overhead squats with no weight, just the barbell. I think it's an awesome warm up. It's great to basically turn the electricity on in your legs, your core, your shoulders, and it also adds an element of balance. So it's just full body engagement. Daniel just swing around here, getting warmed up, getting the energy flowing. Um, and here I'm doing some arched back bent over rows, real light again, just again turning electricity on and all the little muscles in my back. Um, and then here, fully extended press over my head, as high and extended as you can go, even on my tippy toes. Kind of just getting warmed up for handstands. It's like doing a handstand with a barbell in your hand. Found it. Uh, I seem to do better. Better handstands when I do these warm ups. Just kicking up a new handstand here. Um, I'm recovering from a broken rib. Actually, I'm about a week ago. I broke my rib. I had a little fracture. So just getting back in the swing of things. And I'm doing uh, basically handstand holds and legs th this day doing some back squats, 135 pounds, just really concentrating on uh, my form here. Keeping my back straight and pressing through my heels. Um, in between my sets of squats, I'm doing handstand holds. Uh, I'm shooting for a minute here. Um, the key is to be try to be fully extended and use Daniel's hands. I'm using Daniel's hands as a, a way to, if I fall, I can correct myself. I don't want him to correct me. This is very important. Uh, you're working on rebalancing yourself. And he's just there to act as a, as a wall. This is really not a good attempt here as my back is pretty arched and whack is all out of form. Just kind of getting back in the swing of things after a, a little time off with a rib injury. And now we're going to go do some uh, front squats. 135 pounds again. I'm going to hold it at the bottom for a second and then come up. Again, keeping being aware of a straight back and pushing through my heels and not necessarily coming up on the balls of my feet. I'm still working on that. And then uh, just to finish out my workout, which is pretty light, I'm going to do some push-ups. And notice how uh, I'm slow down and exploding up, keeping my hands back. Um, you know, this is not a typical push-up, my hands are further back. Right, we just got finished working out at the local gym. It's about a 10 minute walk down the street from our house. And man, it's beautiful out here. I feel like I'm breathing in an oxygen, like I have an oxygen tank plugged into my lungs. The weather feels so clear, crisp and clean. Maybe it's just because the sun's setting. It's my favorite time of day. The sun is shining. The waves are aligning. The dolphins are dining. The fish are whining. the camera for the first time in a few months and just when I'm feeling good he comes out with that poetic animal poppy stuff <laughs> now I just sound like a diluted well hey don't get hit by the car anyway so our retreats coming up February 13th through the 17th San Diego Encinitas and we are excited to meet all these new awesome people I tell you, the people that come on our retreat, if you're ever looking for to, if you're looking to expand your business, if you like have, like, let's just say you have a, you want to open up a holistic health business, whether it be online or physical place, the networking that goes on at our retreats is invaluable. I tell you, people that come on our retreats are awesome. That's, that's probably my biggest motivation is like, really, this is a, I'm serious here. This is this is a marketing technique. This is also the truth, and 
And that's when those align, those are good. So basically, I, if these people believe in us, that I'm like so inspired by, I'm like, wait a minute, if like this guy is putting so much faith and belief and like motivation and like telling us what we're doing is so valuable, this guy is telling me that, okay, I believe him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, the people that seem to have found, found inspiration in us are extremely inspirational themselves. That's inspirational. Yeah. And that's really one of the most valuable... Look at that cool sign. Don't you think someone's going to steal that one? I, I would say that's one of the most valuable things that a human being can offer me is inspiration to become even better. Look at that. That's an awesome road sign. Anyways. I broke my rib surfing actually at Black's Beach about a week ago. I'm about a week and two days into a broken rib right here, right near my heart. And I'm trying to... Uh, I guess put down my old life for a second, you know, what I was really enthusiastic about, which is surfing and movement, and kind of explore what other new worlds are out there for me. It's been pretty eye-opening, you know, all of a sudden I'm taking long walks and just uh, doing things that I wasn't used to doing. So, you know, I'm trying to practice what I preach and basically try to find any stumbling stone and turn it, turn it into a stepping stone. <laughs> stumbling block. Stumbling block. Oh, God, you could use it. Did I say stumbling stone? Yeah. Yeah, it works. Anyway, yeah, I hope uh, you guys enjoyed that workout today. I did uh, basically legs and handstand work. Did you film me messing up again? No, which is uh, pretty funny. I just found out I could do handstands without my rib hurting yesterday, so I'm pretty stoked on that. And now I'm contradicting myself because I just told people that I'm exploring new worlds, but I'm just going back to my old world. And I don't know. Well, anyway, it was a short-lived new world. It was a short It's world a whole lived. new world. New world, that's right. Anyway, guys. San Diego is awesome, uh, especially the little community that seems to be created around us. Cool people seem to want to hang out with us, which I'm really happy about. If you're looking to take life to the next level, I would uh, recommend you come get in touch with us. Um, yeah, you know what's kind of cool about me that I realized today? What's that? Is that, uh, you know how they like doctors are on call and stuff? And they, you know, sometimes like someone wants them to do something. Uh -huh. And they're like, oh, well, I'm on call. So uh, tentatively, I can do that. That's pretty much it. Other than these retreats, most of, the most of my life is tentative because I'm on call for life. That's right, brother. When life happens, I try to be there. That's right. And yes, I'm drinking uh, right pasteurized coconut water. And we're, oh, we've got to hop a fence for real, Dan. Look at that view, though. I Show, can't them that view. Show them that view. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That's amazing. Did you want to walk in the beach? Yeah, I actually do because I can't hop fences with a broken rib, bro. Plus, I don't do illegal things, you know? Dan's always trying to get me to do illegal things. I'm like, Dan, I can't do illegal things. But, but look at... It's nice. It's your backlit. What about the, just the view itself? Yeah, the view is awesome. Yeah, so that view right there. I know we say expect nothing, but there's so much more else to experience. Now, I'll go ahead and tell you, this is the beach that you'll be at. If you come on the Rob Rouse Retreat, February 13th through 17th, on Valentine's Day, baby, bring your significant other or just fall back in love with yourself. Yeah, I'll tell you, not having a car is pretty freaking awesome. The new world that's expressed when you start walking down the beach to get to places like to the gym. Where am I at? <laughs> I'm walking down the beach sunset, walking to the gym to get my squats and handstands on, baby. Yeah, I really realize the value of your location. That's big time. Hey, but uh, speaking of not having a car, show them our garage when we get our carless garage. You know what I'm gonna do with that garage? I'm gonna turn it into a little a playground for, for uh, grown-ups. When I say grown-ups, I mean immature grown-ups like myself. <laughs> you know, I got, I, I got to toot my own horn right now. We have met a lot of people that are in the public eye that are very looked up to. And I'm gonna go ahead and say that my brothers and I we have something <laughs> that not many other people have. We have like this, just, so I just been getting to see that not only do we have the insightfulness, the awareness about things that people just go on, that go unnoticed, but we have a, a way of not taking life too seriously and laughing a lot. Like, you know, I feel like I'm doing a good job with my life. We can have serious conversations and talk about things that are usually considered very awkward and inappropriate. And then at the end of the night, 
be laughing harder than I've ever laughed before about those same things. I am really stoked about the, uh, the group of people, the community that seems to be created around us right now and just being able to live my uh, t true to my authentic self and uh, be appreciated and loved for that and returning that love for those same people that show the courage to do the same thing. Rasta. <laughs>